In the first few videos, we were mostly focusing on the geometric interpretation of vectors and matrices. And then in the last couple of videos, we've been talking about simultaneous equations and row operations. So I just want to make a, a connection between the geometric and the algebraic viewpoints. So suppose, again, we've got a system of simultaneous equations. I'm just going to stick with the example I've been uh, using because we've already solved this one. So x minus y equals minus 1 and x plus y equals 3 and we saw there's a solution or a unique solution x equals 1 y equals 2. Um, so the way I want to think about this uh, is as follows. So I'm going to draw the xy plane. It's the x-axis, it's the y-axis and I'm going to draw the set of all points inside the plane that satisfy each of these two equations. So first of all, uh, let's try drawing the first one. So x minus y equals minus 1. That is equivalent to y, oops, y equals x plus 1. So that's a line with slope 1, the coefficient of x here is 1, and it intersects um, the y-axis at y equals 1, right? When x equals 0 on the y-axis, you get y equals 1. So it's a line that looks something like this, if this is height 1. Um, this second equation uh, I just prefer writing the equations for lines in, with the y equals something. Um, I'm sure many of you do too. So this is y equals uh, minus x plus 3, the second equation here. Uh, so that's a line with slope minus 1 and its intercept is at uh, y equals 3. So that's something more like this. It's not to scale but something like this. And you can see they intersect at exactly one point here. And you can also see that this is more or less 1, 2. As in the x-coordinate of this point is 1, the y-coordinate is 2. So if I draw it to scale it would be exactly correct. Um, okay, so that's telling you you have two lines, one for each equation, and the point where they intersect has the same coordinates that the solution has, the solution of this pair of simultaneous equations. And that's not a coincidence. What does it mean to solve the equations? It means to find all the points that satisfy both pairs of equations, so all the points that lie on the red line and all the points that lie on the blue line simultaneously. And the only point that lies simultaneously on the red line and the blue line is this intersection point. So solving equations is the same as intersecting lines in this case. Let's throw another equation into the mix. Um, I don't know, 2x minus y equals 0. Okay, so let's suppose instead of this first system of two equations, we actually started off with three equations like this. Well, the third equation is going to define for us another line. It's, uh, I'm going to do this one in orange. This is the line y equals 2x. Um, which... Well, it certainly passes through the origin. It also passes through 1, 2. So let's see if I can draw this. Okay, so it's this orange line here, slope 2. Now, notice that um, this green point still lies on the intersection of all three lines. Right, so this is still a solution, 
x equals 1, so 2 times 1 is 2, and y equals 2, so that's fine. And that's because this orange line passes through that green point, right? If we'd picked a different equation where the line didn't pass through that point, then there'd be no solutions. So let's see what that would look like. Um, I'm just going to copy this over, whole thing. Okay, let's move it down here. And let me replace this third equation with uh, something slightly different. So this third equation is now going to be um, 2x minus y equals minus 1. Okay, what happens to this orange guy? Um, so he was here, right, passing through that green point. When I have 2x minus y equals minus 1, the y-intercept becomes 1. So he moves vertically upwards like this. And now you see there's no triple intersection between these three lines. Each pair intersect, right? There's this green intersection between the blue and the red. There's this point of intersection uh, between the blue and the orange. And there's a point of intersection between the orange and the red. But there's no triple intersection that's simultaneously on all three lines. And that means this system of three equations has no solution. So just to recap, each equation, let's say it's an equation of the form uh, a1x plus a2y equals b. Each such equation defines for us a line in the plane in R2. It's a line whose slope is, uh, well, if we rearranged this, it would be like y equals minus a1 over a2x plus b over a2. So the slope is a uh, minus a1 over a2, where this is understood to be like slope infinity if a2 is 0, as in vertical, and uh, the intercept the y-intercept is b over a2, which again, if a2 is 0, there's no y-intercept because it's a vertical line. So one way to think about these numbers, a1 and a2, um, is, oh, you'll, you'll notice I've sneakily introduced uh, some notation for this line. This line is going to be called L. Um, so the way to think about these numbers, a1 and a2, is that the vector a1, a2, is orthogonal to L. Um, in other words, it's at right angles to L. And the way you see this is, um, let's draw a picture. Here's L, some line. Uh, if I pick two points on L, x, y, and x prime, y prime, then this vector here that goes from x prime, y prime to x, y points in the direction of L. So in other words, um, x, y minus x prime, y prime, that's this vector, Uh, points along L. So it's sufficient to check that A1, A2 is orthogonal to this vector here. So let's do the dot product. A1, A2 dotted with this difference. Well, the difference is x minus x prime, y minus y prime. This dot product is A1 x minus a1 x prime plus a2y minus a2y prime 
And let's look at this. A1x plus A1, A2y is B by the equation for L. So this is B. And A1 prime, uh, A1x prime plus A2y prime is also B because x prime, y prime also lives on the line L. So you get B minus B, which is zero. So the dot product is zero. So you should think these coefficients a1, a2, they're determining the slope of the line, but they're also determining the normal vector to the line or the orthogonal vector to the line. So just to confuse you, this is also called the normal vector. The normal vector to the line. Right, so you can say it's at right angles, you can say it's perpendicular, you can say it's orthogonal, you can also say it's normal. We've got a lot of names for the same thing. It's, it's good that you know them all.